Hi guys, Robert and Brandon here from GEMT Dry Needling. We're here today to talk about the safety component of the GEMT Dry Needling courses. Robert, can you please describe the main safety features of our courses? Sure thing. Look, as you know, dry needling is an invasive technique and it has associated risks, contraindications. So we make sure that our whole procedure is set up to protect the most important people in the room, being the clinician, first and foremost, and the patient. So all our delegates have to watch um, pre-course videos, one of them is on safety, and then there's a, a test on safety as well that they must pass prior to entering the practical component. And we spend a large part of day one just with needle manipulation skills, everything from how to safely and effectively take that needle out of the packet to engage that needle. We teach our skills on both sides of the body, so it's important that our practitioners can needle with both hands. Uh, and we enforce that they wear two gloves. So many courses uh, still wear no gloves or one glove. And that always intrigues me because a needle stick injury doesn't know which hand you've got a glove on. And when you ring uh, an infectious disease department of a hospital and you tell them you may have a needle stick injury, they ask you a series of questions. One of the first questions is, were you wearing gloves? If you say yes, they say you've just reduced your chances of an infection by 50 to 60%. Sure. Right, which are pretty good odds. I would take those odds for sure. Right. So um, the other really important thing is uh, we have a practical test as well. Yes. So all our delegates get exposed to uh, a muscle that they need to needle in front of us under direct supervision and we give them as immediate feedback. Again, making sure that they're safe, making sure that they're effective with a needle in their hands. Let's not forget the student to teacher ratio of the courses. Oh look, that's important to us as you know. So as soon as we get a ninth delegate on a course, we get a second instructor in because they love the supervision and we want to make sure that we're there for them. We don't want to rush them and we want to give them as much feedback as we can, which is why we also have a practical test on the last day of the course. So every delegate gets given a muscle and we ask them to safely and effectively needle it in front of us. We give them feedback on their procedure. And then we know when you get a GEMT certificate, you've passed both theory test and practical test. So our standards are high. Um, but we have, make no apology for that because we need people to be safe and effective on the end of that needle. That certainly does sound like a safe course. You've obviously put a lot of thought and effort into this. Oh, without a doubt. As I said, we want to protect the two most important people in the room, practitioner and the patient. Uh, look, we really hope we can see you on a GEMT dry needling course soon.